Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today, I'm very excited to share with you that we have now a Google Drive integration inside of the media storage. And this is a two-way sync, meaning if you update your files inside the media storage, for example, PDFs, PNGs, JPEGs, GIFs, whatever your heart desires really, if you update it in the media storage, it will automatically be updated in the Google Drive folder as well and vice versa too. Let me show you how you can do this. Let's click on media storage on the left and then at the top you can see a new button called connect drive. Let's click that. Then you just follow the Google wizard, select your Google account. It will ask you for permission to sign in with lead connector, so hit continue. And right here it will ask you again for all the permissions, hit allow. Then this page will pop up. You honestly don't have to select anything right here. You can just close that off. And you can see the Google Drive has been connected right now. If you hover over this icon, you can also see one account has been connected, the username, how much gigabyte is used out of how much terabyte in case you have a bigger plan. So just click here, click the drop down menu and select your Google Drive. And here you can see those two files, which are also the two files that are uploaded into this particular Google Drive. Now let's upload another image and let me show you how the sync works. So go to the Google Drive, for example, click add new image or file upload, select the file it's uploading now. Let's refresh the Google Drive and here you can see the image has been uploaded. Let's go back to the media storage and let's also refresh that. And here you go. You can see the image has also been uploaded to the media storage in the CRM. Now, if you click the three dots right here, you can also choose to import it to the actual media library. So take it out of your Google Drive and add it to the actual media library. So let's do that. Let's click the drop down menu, select all. And here you can see that image has been imported. Now let's delete it real quick and let me show you the sync works there as well. Move to trash. Let's go back to the location. Let's select Google Drive. And you can see the image has been deleted in the Google Drive integration here. If you go back to the all section, that image is still there because you've already taken it out from the Google Drive into the media storage. And that's it already. This is how you connect your Google Drive folders with the internal media storage and how you manage the files both ways. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.